Yeah. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video of Green Square Talks Battlebots. Uh, here with a big gang for this podcast, uh, Blaze, Civilian Arc, Porinaga here. The long-awaited return of Spin Doctor, and then yes, Smurf me. returns for podcast number two. So, how's it going, all five of you? Uh, Pretty I, good. I am Civ. No, you're not. Sad, I'm also. I'm also Civ. I am Civ. I am Civ too. So, <laughs> I am also Civ. Uh, maybe Not for the next Congress. podcast we should all rename ourselves somebody <laughs> be, somebody ends up being in Civ 2 then somebody else be Civ 3, Civ 4, Civ 5, Civ 6 so on Let's or actually that. no we that, gotta skip Civ be 2 because there's Toxic 2 and RA2 who is nicknamed Civ 2 so Man, Bruh. Civ 2, yeah. Bruh. I'll, I'll, I'll be Civ 4 <laughs> But yeah, regardless here, we are here with our final episode review of Battlebots Champions as the Golden Bolt winner was crowned at the end of this video, if you haven't seen it already. And at the end of this video, what? Or at the end of, end of that episode, so. But anyway, we're going to get into fight discussions, so if you haven't seen this episode yet, there will be spoilers, as there usually are, so if you haven't seen it already... I would recommend checking it out and before checking this out, but it's your choice. So your funeral, if you end up getting a bunch of spoilers whoa, whoa, by watching whoa, this whoa. thing. Oh. Don't make the, whoa, you're, you're, you're telling them that they're going to have a funeral. What? They're going to die. Yeah. You don't, Is that get, you don't know that. You clearly don't know that square? saying. So green? we're going to move on that's to the next. Big. No, we're that's move on to the first fight. No, yeah. It's Civ. What about me? Is Civ made a death threat to everyone. Mm. Okay. Okay. What's wrong with you? There's yeah. There's oh, something wrong. This one hurts. Okay. Hell yeah. This yeah. One. Okay. So Ribot in Endgame for this fight, a rematch from uh Battlebots 2019, Ribot's first ever victory at Battlebots, and yeah. So Ribot came in with the undercutter configuration for this one. I'm guessing the idea that they had behind that was to use that extra mobility and even the extra front armor that they mentioned in a couple couple fights uh for this one use use a lot of that to their advantage maybe try to catch end game by the sides of the backside use that gyro to their advantage or something like that but we saw how that turned out green uh, extra mobility that's what word. green's trying to say <laughs> Finally, we figured out what he... Okay, so what the synopsis of this fight is that Ribot put on the undercover for extra mobility and then he drove the fight like shit. Oh, True. That's so sad. This was such a sad one. Sad. I'm watching the fight right now. Yeah. Brand... Yeah, they're driving like shit. But goddamn, they drove... They drove terribly. Car. Yeah. But... They drove worse than Ram. They drove worse than Mammoth. Drive worse than Gemini. They drove worse they drove than worse... Rampage. They wow. drove worse than Mammoth in the Tombstone oh. fight. Oh, wait, what is Mammoth supposed to do in that fight? I'm talking Just about like it. the beginning of the fight, uh. buddy. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to just drive straight into tombstones. What? I mean, like, what? Well, okay, that's were they just to let spin up? <laughs> like, what do you mean drive? Like, what? Okay, get to the well, side. Mammoth is, well, here's the thing. Mammoth should have won the fight. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to get back yeah, to maybe. talking about this after that interesting discussion right there. But yeah, Brandon from P1, when we had him on the podcast, he was constantly commenting on how <laughs> basically. The robot who has the first driving error makes the first driving mistake, typically ends up losing the fight, and sadly that ended up being Ribot in Pori's case right My here. Um, yeah, but Bruh. But one thing I gotta comment on, how many how many uh, how many who else here found it funny when pretty much pretty much Endgame comes out with their plow configuration, two wedgelets there. They get the warm up part where you like spin around and everything, if you know what I'm talking about. Endgame goes over to the corner, turns right into the rails to remove those two wedgelets. Right, that was there. genius. That was, that was so, so funny. I love that. Yeah, I love that. Like that was that was amazing. Thing. Like that that made me laugh honestly. But it was it, it was yeah like was, spin, was like like Porian or like Siv and Spin both said like that was that that was definitely genius. That was 
very well done preparing for a robot like Ribot on Endgame's part right there because it sounds like from Endgame's side that Ribot was keeping it was keeping their config for this fight like very well secret just because like I feel both weapons would be ideal choices for a fight with Endgame in their own unique ways basically. And... Huh. Huh? I honestly, what? I feel like the vert might have been the better. Yeah, choice. that's something I feel else like I was going to talk about, about because I've been getting a lot of comments that they that think the vertical spinner would would have been a better choice. For no, I don't want to be lumped here. Oh, people making comments no, on no. videos. <laughs> no Here's comments. The Comment section. Here's the thing. No. Um, no, the the vert would not have helped them. There's, I, I, I you're agree. not gonna win. You're not gonna win a ground war against Endgame. That's just silly. Yeah. Yeah, because basically, I think, I think Ribot definitely should have used Ribot definitely should have used the horizontal, but yeah, my, okay, my, 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 done my point of view, better. I feel like just the weapon would have maybe at least lasted longer. Because when you go head on with a horizontal vertical spinner, like there's more likely that your horizontal just get wrecked in one hit than like just getting hit on the vertical. It's not like the vertical is gonna make weapon on weapon contact and just get destroyed. Like you're at least gonna have a weapon for a little while. If you go upside down, like you're just gonna be at a good or decent angle to at least maybe get hit on the wedge at this least. Is... Whereas if you just go oh, straight cool. on with the horizontal, you might lose a horizontal, and then you're just screwed at that point. You at least have a chance of keeping the vertical spinner unless you just get monstrously dug this into. Is... Oh, oh, God. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, kind of like my opinion is basically with when it comes to choosing which weapon know. config oh, that Ribot would go with oh. for this one, I do think the undercutter was the right choice for this one because Ribot could either go with the vertical spinner and try to win the ground game against <laughs> end game, which I doubt would happen because because yeah. like I've mentioned this a few times at least in other groups, but end game is one of the three mm -hmm. kings of the ground game in my opinion, with Sawblaze and Hydra being the other two on there. Because like mm -hmm. those three are like the masters of winning the ground game. And you could definitely make arguments for why others could be up there too. Like I'd say Copperhead's definitely up there as well. Bite Force as well. well and, Blip. Tantrum. Yes, tantrum. Blip, Blip and Tantrum um, as well. Like there are yeah, so many just, great mm -hmm. options for that. But I feel like those three are kind of like the big three in my opinion. But yeah, I, I'd agree with what, that. But but I, this, I can easily see the argument oh for why awful. those those other four robots could be up there too. So, uh, the, that but, was awful. But yeah, regardless though, I would. But then, Ribot's other option would be the undercutter, basically, where Ribot where Ribot could use that extra speed and extra maneuverability be to try to get tr try to avoid the front to end game, aim and. Maybe take advantage of the gyro issues, even though I kind of doubt that that would be a problem because Jack's done a terrific job keeping that stuff under control. Oh, and like, because not many robots have been able to take advantage of Endgame's gyro issues, at least through ever since Endgame first came to BattleBots. And but, but yeah, but yeah, this fight was going to come down to who made the first driving error, and unfortunately for Pori, that ended up being Ribot in this one because. We saw Ribot drive right into that weapon <laughs> of Endgame, and it went downhill from there for Ribot. Also, just let it just, like spin up. Like They went to the side of the arena and then drove into it. Yeah. They didn't what? just like go for like, the what? box rush. What? And, but this is definitely beneficial for Endgame, because like they got a quick <laughs> knockout in this one, and three fights in one night to take home the Golden Bolt. And... <laughs> Definitely, and a quick knockout's always better, at least in this case. And I hear, yeah. for, I've heard at least from Witch Doctor, I'm not sure if this is true for like Ribot and everyone else that made it here, but for Witch Doctor, they had, for Witch Doctor to get win the Golden Bolt, they would have to win four fights in a night, because apparently their fight with Whiplash happened the same day that the Golden Bolt bracket happened. Oh shit! Yeah. So bots like Ribot would have to like do like I don't know. Things? I do. I don't know if that was the same thing for like Ribot, no. Hyperdrop, <laughs> List, and all those others. But I know for Witch Doctor, they said they said that, that they said that on social media, and I believe it. Yeah, it's no. I think it's because the Witch Doctor out. bounty, the Witch Doctor bounty happened last because Witch yeah. Doctor made the finals. So, that's the yeah, yeah, that's uh, the other thing the too. Day. Ribot probably was like the day before or something yeah. when they had their uh, bounty run. But yeah. Is there anything that, more to that, talk about with funny. Ribot in Endgame? Or should we get to another fight? Yeah, let's go to the next fight, please. Yeah. We'll go to the next one. That was a pretty good discussion for this one. And 
it was a good good victory by Endgame and funny moment right at the beginning there. And let's get to the next one. Okay. Oh, this uh, one I want to. I want to. Can I say something real quick? Yep. Go ahead, Blaze. So I I had a theory that they didn't show much from the Hypershock Scorpios fight because I thought Scorpios just would dominate. Uh, I was wrong. The reason why they didn't show anything <laughs> is because there was it was twenty seven seconds. That's funny. Funny. I don't think there's much to talk about this other than a uh, Hypershock guy is revenge. GG, yeah, and so Hypershock. this one ended up being a battle for ground game, basically with how these two robots both planned it out. Uh, so Hypershock came in with wedgelets, similar to what they did for other vertical type spinners or other robots that go for ground game. Scorpios came in with a little bit of a different configuration for this one. Uh, it was it, and because basically what Scorpios did is they kind of had what I would probably call a similar similar type scoop up front to what Sawblaze has, because like they all not just were they going for ground game with that, but then they had but then they had that they had that front kind of designed a little bit like Sawblaze does, where it's got the wedge lit, and then it's got a little point up there. There that kind of makes it a little bit harder for an opponent to escape if they get underneath. If you kind of get what I'm trying to describe, at least, but uh, a dustpan. Yeah, ki- kind of, but but yeah, I will say, hey, uh, Hypershock, despite be despite Hypershock came into this one, Will was a little bit worried about Scorpios's ground game thing, but Will drove this fight perfectly because yeah. Will used a very similar tactic to what Aaron Hill used to get underneath Sawblaze in order to like avoid the wedgelets part of Scorpios. Because you'd notice from the replay, even from this one too, because I think this was the first hit, he hit he didn't hit the directly on the front, he hit the side part of the yeah. plow right there. Yeah, that's what that's I noticed too. Yeah. Like it was this one was brilliant driving by Will. And I haven't heard what's I'm not sure what Scorpios' reason was for going with that spinner. I don't think they mentioned it on social media. I don't know if anyone else knows. Because I noticed they had a different blade for this one than what we've seen in all their other fights. And not sure not sure if it was like a spinner that's that's specifically designed for vertical spinners like Hypershock, or if it was like a lighter spinner because they need to save weight or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if Maybe, anyone else. It might have been a lighter answer. spinner so that way they couldn't have more weight in the um, forks and stuff. That, yeah, that's possible, but I don't know for sure the answer, but anyone else want to talk about this fight then? Well, this was uh, a classic Hammer Summer. Happened. This was a classic Hammer Summer get shit on fight, which is always fun to see. Um, shout out to Piper Shock for naming on Zach Wrigel finally. Uh, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, this was round three between Hypershock and Scorpios because we saw round one in 2018, which was which went to, yeah, which was a judge's decision that Scorpios won that I personally disagreed with. But really? I, it, yeah, I actually thought Hypershock should have won their first meeting, but but it was that close of a fight to where I'm not going to be mad about it or anything. Like, I can see the argument where they were going with that one. But, that is and plus surprising. it was split too, so yeah, there yeah. Ju- so there's one judge that agreed with me, and then their round two meeting in Bounty Hunters, yeah, Scorpios won that one pretty easily, and then round three this one, and Hypershot quickly throws Scorpios out of the arena right there, <laughs> yeah, and now they tie with Tantrum for the most out of the arenas this season, so. That is that's true. No, 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 no actually. Tantrum, ha- Tantrum has the record for season six. On Discovery Plus, this is season seven. So <laughs> Hypershock technically what? has the first out of the arena of season seven. What? So this is... Wait, what? Yeah, this no. is season seven. Yeah, yeah, like they, they, yeah. Like basically on Discovery Plus, they have they have Foulbots champions n- named marked down as season season seven and so technically <laughs> hypershock has the only out of the arena of season seven so far damn is uh, it fun is uh, it funny how true that, that is, is that is hilarious uh, it's funny how yeah i see sp- i see smurf's comments in the chat commenting <laughs> send it <laughs> comment it's over send scorpio side of the ground game that's so base <laughs> <laughs> I love that Murph Star Wars based. reference right there. Smurf is just based. There's yeah. no denying. Thanks, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, shout out to Smurf and all the Star Wars references there. So, but yeah, anything to talk about here? That was another quick knockout right there, which is definitely nice for the fact that s- some of these robots were could potentially have to fight three times, Witch Doctor four times, if Witch Doctor makes it all the way to the final. Some of these, maybe four for Hypershock, too. But uh, I don't know. Regardless, the, is there wait. anything else to talk about this one? Honestly, okay, can I just share my opinion? Yep, I think this match was kind of disappointingly fast. Because, like, if I'm being honest, the first Scorpius versus Hypershock was one of my favorite fights of 2018. It was just so fun to watch. But this one was just so quick. It was, like, four hits, and then Scorpius got tossed out. It was cool and all, but, like, I wish it was more of a fight. Yeah. I would, I would probably agree that I wished it was a little longer, too, because, like, really get to show off, like, the durability that Scorpios is so well known for, or, and, and, but, but the, but the hits were still pretty nice on Hypershock's end, which I know Spin said were, said was, that said was nice and entertaining, but. Yeah, I definitely agree that I wish the fight would have been a little longer, at least from my standpoint, but it's definitely better for Hypershock's standpoint, because if the fight was a little bit longer, they'd have to risk more damage, and yeah, we already know that they had a huge repair job after the Mad Catter fight, and several robots on this bracket, it seemed to be on their last, if not out of spare parts uh, for certain ones, so. And Witch Doctor. Yep, Witch Doctor, and I want to, I want to say maybe end game as well but i don't know for sure maybe maybe but, they, they they brought a lot of parts though yeah either way either way though hats off to several of these robots for yeah getting getting the robot together to get back in the arena. Off. Uh, even if, even if they have to even if they have to buy or borrow lots of spare parts from other teams which is totally cool because that's that's what that's one of the reasons why the battlebots community is so amazing and especially because yeah so, anything else to talk about with this one, or should we get to the next fight? Uh, next fight. Yes. Okay, Witch no. Doctor and Glitch. Yeah. This one, this one was an I interesting. This one. this one was an interesting one because, so on one hand, Glitch didn't come with forks for this fight because basically, what Glitch, the idea is, Glitch was hoping that they'd have improved mobility, which I would agree. I think they did in this mm-hmm. one overall. Oh, without the forks, basically. And then Witch Doctor. You see right in the image there, they came with forks for this fight. Their first time I'm using those. And mm-hmm. yeah, and then Witch Doctor was wanting to avoid another episode of that series. Uh, Blaze, Kill- remind me of that series. <sighs> Kill Yourself on Glitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Avoid another episode of Kill Yourself on Glitch. And... I- yeah, so that means that means Glitch versus Rotator was the season finale of yeah. Kill Yourself on Glitch. Yeah, man. Maybe Glitch killed itself on its on Glitch. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> that's that's the biggest cliffhanger ever. Yeah, exactly. We'll finally this find se- the Lord. Like this is the, this is the season finale of Kill Yourself on Glitch, where Glitch kills itself on Glitch. So, damn. Yeah, there we go. That- but. That's steep. Yeah, Witch Doctor back with the one two, back with the one disc vertical spinner. I'm guessing for the same. I'm guessing for what like the same reason they came with the one, the one disc, the one tooth vertical spinner from the Whiplash fight. And uh, yeah, Witch Doctor executed their strategy overall. Like it definitely didn't look as good at times because it looked like. It looked like Witch Doctor was a little bit struggling, struggling a little bit with drive at time. Or uh, how do I say this? Uh, I think Michael lately was having a harder time driving the robot, at least compared to how he does in the past. I'm guessing Wedgelets make that much of a difference or something. But but regardless, though, the strategy was executed well by Witch Doctor to avoid going head on with Glitch. Because I definitely agree that I think if those two did go head on, I think Glitch would probably win that exchange. And this wouldn't have been the series, the season finale of Kill Yourself on Glitch. And, but, and every, every, you all want to share your thoughts on this fight now then? I'm so happy that Glitch finally lost. I like, okay, Glitch is objectively a good bot, right? But my, I just dislike Glitch because of how 
poor mobility is because I'm a fan of control bots and aggressive and well driving, but just seeing a bot just win by not, but just because like even though they just can't drive at all is just so annoying. And I'm happy to see it. I don't, I'm not gonna say I'm happy to see it lose, but I'm happy to see another bot put up, put up a good fight against it, like while, while it's still driving too. So. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a fair point to make. Uh, yeah, because like it definitely looks like glitch applied for next season, and I I feel like if glitch if glitch can get the mobility thing sorted out and make the robot like a little bit easier to repair and get into and a little bit more manageable at least, I think glitch could definitely make a serious run and in, in in a future in a future or tournament and. But yeah, yeah. Sadly, Miles got to see got to see his robot take its first loss of the season. So, oh, yep, hell, hell for that. But but still, shout out to Glitch regardless. Like even even if the even if they did struggle with mobility at times, like like seven and O, oh, your first yeah. season at BattleBots before before taking that loss to Witch Doctor right there. Like, that's yeah. still a phenomenal rookie season, regardless of wins regardless over, like, of issues. And and wins over good some good a bunch of good robots and big names too. Ooh, yeah. So Kraken uppercut hydra rotator. Like that's a yeah. that's a really big kill list. That's amazing. Like, like three fourths of the bots that glitch you beat all made round of sixteen. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, ex- exactly. Like even even if Glitch's mobility wasn't the best, and lots of their opponents lost by going head on with Glitch, uh, it's it's still like huge. Like still, like still big shout out to the no, team it's glitch. regardless. So, uh, yeah, Siv or Pori, you two want to talk about this fight? If you have any thoughts to say on it, uh, no, I'm good. Thanks, bro. Yeah, well, this was a strange episode of Kill Yourself on Glitch because the robot, one robot who's not known for having ground game didn't kill themselves on Glitch, which is kind of amusing, if you want my personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kill Yourself on Glitch is unfortunately over. It was a great series. I, uh, it was a I great eight-episode series. Yeah, I can't wait to see the sequel where uh, Glitch will find me, his girlfriend, and then... <laughs> They'll make a glitch mini bot. Oh god! <laughs> Was that a reference to something, Siv? No, and I just glitch is in a book. Yeah, but but yeah, definitely was a good fight to test out those wedgelets on Witch Doctor's end. It looked like it definitely was a bit trickier to drive, and that's why I don't think we saw wedgelets from on Witch Doctor for the rest of the episode. Ode, but. Uh, just because it looked like it was a bit dip, bit trickier to drive, and Witch Doctor looked like it had some issues with the floor. But, yeah, it was great driving by Mike Glately, regardless on this one, because as he executed the strategy to perfection and eventually killed Glitch, and and it was a pretty solid, it was a pretty solid victory. So Witch Doctor moves on where they're taking on Hypershock in the next round, but we'll talk about that fight in a little bit because we got still got one more round one fight to talk about. So, all right, let's talk about that one next, and it's a rematch that I've uh, that I've been I've been wanting a little bit ever since their 2018 <laughs> showdown, which featured which featured my which featured my favorite moment of BattleBots 2018, or even. Like one of my favorite moments ever in Balwa's history when that fist of tantrum got stuck in the glass. And yeah, that was funny regardless. And so we got another we got a rematch between these two and Yeah. Uh one of y'all wanna some of y'all wanna talk about this fight then? Uh you were wrong. Yeah, I was wrong because I did go I um, chose to go spicy and predict I respect stone that for this one. See, at least okay. Finn respects respects my takes. I mean, I, okay. it, it, I in in your defense screen, I honestly was very worried for Tantrum in this fight too. I, I was get, too honestly. I did predict Tantrum, but I could I could see your reasoning on that. Yeah. Yeah. See, can I share something funny? I I, I I saw on 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 uh, Reddit slash Discord. So someone posted a screenshot on Discord, and basically Rick Russ kind of spoiled this outcome because he mentioned like two big fires, um, like before this episode aired, like something like an AMA somewhere, 
And um, the only big fire that happened at that point was Captain Shredder Raider versus Tombstone. Didn't and we Tombstone see the sh- other big fire in this fight. I thought Where Tombstone smoked. Say? I thought Tombstone smoked up in the jackpot fight, but I, uh, not I don't, that I know I of. It did. At least. Never mind. Uh, yeah. I could I could be wrong though though because it's been a while since I've seen that fight. I was pretty sure no, but I I still could be wrong. But yeah, a good thing I didn't see that comment is... then. Then spin. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots of stuff I'm yeah. glad I did not see because uh, yeah, there would be that com- like that just adds to the list of stuff that I'm glad I hadn't seen because Pori is always talking about the auto desk type stuff that spoiled a couple bounties. Uh, yeah. yeah, and apparently somebody somehow found out that found out who the winner of the Golden Bolt was going to be prior to I think even the first episode of Battlebots Champions. But how do people been... find all these spoilers? I I don't know. I get but... the Autodesk one, but like how and how do you just find the champion of the series? Just they, I don't, they I don't... look for it. That's the thing. Yeah, these, like these, literally these somebody go on Reddit and they analyze every fucking pixel. They yeah, exactly. I, I used to do that. I still couldn't find like, that many spoilers. Like they don't watch. Like these people don't even actually watch the show. But anyways, this yeah. fight. Uh, so for one thing, I wouldn't really consider your prediction of hand, of tombstone winning to be that crazy if tombstone hadn't had that horrific season this year that is true reliability issues like a tombstone at 100 percent probably would have a better shot and my second thing that i have to say is this fight went exactly how i thought it would true yeah to be fair this fight did actually go how i thought it was going to as well in a way but i was but expecting to see a lot more tombstone was gonna win but, yeah like basically, I was I was most I was, I was pretty certain Tantrum was gonna win this fight, but I wanted to go Tombstone just because why not go why not go a little spicy, and that's you know, valid. Like, even that if is. even if yeah, because like, but I was expecting kind of a little more out of Tantrum in this one. If kind of get what I mean for this one, because like we didn't see much action from the vertical spinner. Like they did land a few punches, but I'm not sure if that spinner was spinning part way in. I don't know if it was damaged. Or if it was spinning and I just couldn't tell, or if they were, or if they had the weapon spun down because of weapon issues Tombstone them. was having. But uh, regardless, though, like I was hoping to see more out of Tantrum in this one, at least. Uh, Man. And I was a little disappointed in their performance, at least in this one. But like, it was still a good win, regardless. Yes, because uh, yeah, basically Tombstone. I think. I think this. I think. We could probably put together a series Tombstone killing itself on Tombstone, maybe. <laughs> tombstone kills itself on Tombstone again. That's, defi- that's definitely <laughs> equal. That's definitely a good adaptation to make. Yeah, because Tombstone like, kills itself on Wall. Yeah, because basically, like <laughs> Tombstone eventually Federated ended up now. breaking. Break. Uh, yeah, because Tombstone, I think, broke a tooth again or something like that, knocking itself off balance. We saw a lot of sparks going on in the robot once again, and eventually tombstone. we saw another lipo fire. <laughs> At least I think that's what it was, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so yeah, this ended up being the finale of this season of Tombstone kills itself on Tombstone or something. I don't no, know no, it's not best. Tombstone kills itself on Tombstone. It's Tombstone kills itself on random things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair. This is also um this this might be the this might be the last time we see Ray drive Tombstone on the show because yeah. Uh, yeah, he was maimed in a uh, uh, was it workshop accident, and now yeah. Justin's taking over because he's still recovering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause at, but, at the very least, he's not going to be driving Tombstone this year. Yeah, what I'm well. hear, what I'm hearing like, is I was watching the fight and like. Oh yeah, sorry. Go go ahead, Green. Yeah, what I was about to say <laughs> is like. I, like we know that Justin's gonna be driving. What I'm hearing is Ray will still be there. He'll be like in the pits. I'm not sure if if, if he's gonna be captaining it or if he'll be Justin captaining it next season. But we do know for sure just because of Ray's accident right there in the workshop that Justin will be driving the robot next season. And definitely wishing him the best of luck on that. We'll get to see a dri- another driving performance from him when Balbots finally re- releases all the Remars stuff. Like. Yeah, which will be Justin's second time driving Tombstone, at least in a Battlebots-related event, because 
because like if you're not aware of this justin did drive in the witch doctor rematch from that remars and and then it's and it was revealed he drove tombstone in the hypershock fight from remars which we'll hopefully see soon but hopefully know, hopefully yeah tombstone murdered hypershock in that fight oh like uh, tombstone lost but like I, I wouldn't call that a pure win on Hypershock's part. I didn't see the first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a pretty yeah. decent I saw fight, the photo of the fight, the outcome. Yeah. I, I've, seen a small, I've seen a small amount from people that posted clips of it. Jesus clips fucking love. Clips of stuff like this on, to, on Twitter. And uh, yeah, there were some pretty good moments, but I imagine those tweets might have been taken, probably were taken down, but that, that, cer- that certainly wasn't a no regrets only W. Yeah, but but regardless, though, I hope we get to see the Remars stuff soon because like I have seen some bits of some fights, but I haven't seen any of the full fights, and I want to see the full fights. So, oh yeah, which although yeah, because I'm pre- I'm predicting they come out somewhere between now and uh, filming of the next season of Battlebots at least. He's, I'm predict. I'm predicting they come. I'm predicting they come out in a week. I think Pori mentioned he th- he's predicting. I think Pori didn't you say two weeks? Well, I mean this week they're so they still have three basement fights. Oh yeah. To put out, so they're not going to put two fights on a day. Yeah. What Pori's implying by that is they started releasing fights for Balbot supporters. There's recently and there were there ten of them and they released seven of them for us so far, including last Friday. We got to see the chair fight and. <laughs> No Yo. spoilers on that one. So, um, uh, fun fact: that was originally a rumble. Oh yeah, that, yeah, we, yeah. That fight was originally supposed to be a rumble. Let's see, it was those two, deadlift, and who were the other two? Slamo. Slamo. Yes, I do remember oh, Slamo. Right. Who's the was last? it originally going to be a rumble, or is it? Yes, yeah, so it was originally going to be a five bot two. rumble. It was going to be a five bot rumble. Deadlift, Claw Viper, Slamo. Yeah, Claw Viper is yeah. the last one. Oh yeah. Yeah, Claw Viper, Slamo, deadlift. Uh, Big Dill and Dill Overhaul. But then overhaul. I know what I know what between I know. Big Dill and Overhaul. And it was okay. Is this like actual confirmation is supposed to be Rumble, or is it just from that one like photo of the sign up board? Because I feel like I, I, when I, the way I interpret that photo is just like builders like put a box they want a chair Rumble, but production was actually just not going to do it just because they don't want to do Rumbles anymore, I guess. But like, was it supposed Bro. to be a Rumble? I don't know. I, I don't know. They, probably, they probably tried to make it a Rumble and yeah. the production were probably like, nah. Yeah. Man, yeah. can't wait for the bunk. Can we for well? Bunk the other thing is, the other thing is, it might not have been a rumble because, like, just think about it. it. Claw Viper and Slamo's last fight, both of those robots took a took a horrific amount of damage from their opponents. Dead, li- then, dead, li- li- deadlift. I would kind of leave them a little bit out of the argument because I felt because like they did take a lot of damage in that fight. Like, don't get me wrong. They did. That, I but... can confirm. Oh yes, I can confirm that. <laughs> I can confirm that too. It's a little ways away from me over there. And um, it, it, I'm holding, yeah, yeah, but basically, basically, uh, uh, uh yeah, they, they t- basically, 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 there was basically. a lot of da- there was a lot of damage on <laughs> deadlift side on that one, but yeah, anyway, end up with that. Uh, and should we get to the next fight then? Yeah. Ooh, Actually, sure. Possibly. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Probably the best qual, qual or least quality picture I have here. Uh, oh. But I will be honest. This was this yo. in my opinion. This in my opinion. In my opinion, this was my favorite fight of the episode. Oh yeah, I agree one hundred percent. Yeah. I probably I I probably agree with that, but it's also the saddest fight in my opinion because I wanted I, to see I should go all the way and same. that didn't happen. I'm I'm gonna say yeah. it's. I think I had the one of the best moments of the episode where Hypershock's wheel got stuck in Witch Doctor's <laughs> weapon. Yeah. That yeah. remind that reminded me so much of the rematch between K2 <laughs> and Saw Loser and Bugglebots, because basically K2 looked to hit the pit tire to open up the pit, but then their drum spinner was at full speed and then the the, t- the pit tire got stuck in the weapon of K2 and jammed it <laughs> the rest of the fight and Basically, we saw that happen here. Witch <laughs> Doctor, just... Witch Doctor took advantage of Hypershock being flipped over and ripped off a wheel, but that wheel ended up going right into the weapon of Witch Doctor, jamming it up temporarily. But 
Yeah, I can see why people like Smurf and Corey I, I, both, both <laughs> didn't like this fight, but uh, which, it was okay. yeah. I just, I really enjoyed it, it this okay. one because we got to see lots of airtime from both robots, and it was really back and forth between these two, and lots of tactical driving. And then there was a, and then a wheel. Yep, a wheel, and oh wheel. yeah, lots of lots of damage and on both sides. And lost because of the wheel. Yeah. But, so, uh. Hypershock was uh he he was definitely it was Hypershock was doing gymnastics in there. Oh yeah, in the, definitely in the box. He was trying to become mammoth. Oh yeah. I mean who wouldn't want to be like mammoth? So Yeah, because you gotta you Base. gotta learn you gotta learn to be flexible like mammoth, and that's what Hypershock was trying to show us with those gymnastics tricks. So <laughs> But then they lost the fight. Yeah, oh it's like mammoth, maybe I could be tall. Yeah. <laughs> I think Mammoth is actually taller than me. Or I'm the same height as Mammoth. I'm short, so Mammoth's like 100% taller than me. Huge might be taller than me. I don't know. Uh, I know Mammoth is either barely taller than me or I'm barely the same height as Mammoth. I just, I forgot how tall Mammoth is. I don't, I don't know, know what my height like is. six so feet I... at like, if it's bars up. If, it's, if the bars are up. At six feet. Yeah, yeah. It's over yeah, six. It's, it's taller than, 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 taller than me than at that position. It might be but... six one. I don't know. Uh, we have Google. It's at least All six right. feet, I think. Tall. With like the bar up, but like bar sideways, it might be Mammoth. probably under that. Six foot three. Six foot three. Six oh, foot three. Wow. wow. Okay, Mammoth. Mammoth's dimensions are: it's eight feet nine inches long, five feet. Four inches wide and six feet three inches height. At its Imagine biggest. being eight feet Holy wide. Crap, that's incredible. That's incredible. It's eight feet long, five feet wide. Yeah. Oh, that's it's still five feet wide. Um, is it? Yeah. What did you? <laughs> okay. What's up, please? So, so there's you, so you know the section in Google where people the people also ask. Which yeah. is the strongest battle bot? Fight Force. Shows, it shows a picture of Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> I that's saw something funny. like that. Yeah. That's, that's kind of funny, actually. But yeah. Kind of going back to this fight, then. It was great no, driving no, performance. This is more entertaining. Michael Aitley, and, Michael Aitley and Will Bales right there. Several huge hits right back and forth. I'm not sure oh, which one was actually... A... I'm not sure which, one, which part was more amusing. Which doctor getting the tire stuck in the weapon. Or the fact that we got to see technical T Rex out T-Rex. there for this one. What? Oh, Basically, man, the T-Rex. mask. Technical T Rex. If you, if you, I would def- check out Witch Doctor's channel if you haven't seen it already. And the and the after the after math talk shows that that uh, the Witch Doctor <laughs> team and Will Bales would do on each episode from last season. Sadly, they didn't resume it for this season. I which wish is I wish they would have. That's like I wish they did. Team Witch Doctor. Ever oh yeah. Did. So uh, Green, I, I may or may not have said a link in the description for the Witch Doctor channel. So you got to put it in the description now. Yeah, you have to now. Like you All don't right. have a choice yeah. anymore. I guess I'll have <laughs> yeah. to do it. So. Yeah, I'll de- I'll yeah. I'll definitely do I'll definitely put it in the description for I would definitely <laughs> recommend checking that out because it's pretty amusing stuff and you better. Oh yeah. I'll put I'll Yeah, so along 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 with these nerds channels stuff, at least the people that have well, YouTube bro. channels, Spin Doctor yeah. will just get a shout oh, out nerd. in the description yeah. instead. And uh but yeah, you'll Bruh. see Witch Doctors, the link to U- Witch Doctors YouTube channel in the description. Check out, check out we their better. series. Even though they didn't resume, even though they didn't resume it for this series, it was still a pretty good watch, and you could learn stuff about some of, the, some of the robots that, are returned uh, for this season. So, uh, no, no offense, Green. The Tale of the Tape after show is definitely a better podcast type thing. Oh yeah, it's not really a podcast. It's just kind of a show. It's I mean, I would still. I mean, it's still better. I mean, it's still show. better than my, better. my show. To yeah, be it, yeah. No it is. It I'll, is. I'll, I'll yeah. happily admit no that, to be honest. I wouldn't oh, call okay, it a good. podcast, though. It's more like an I, informational I would, show. It, it's more yeah. like a. It's like a. It's it's like a half recap, half show, half podcast. It's confusing, man. It's yeah, like a talk show. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. It's entertaining. That's, that's a better description of it. Yeah, like I mean, I started up this podcast like not to have like a good quality a good quality podcast basically just because i love talking about combat robotics and i would and yeah wish to show it to wish to show wish to show it to everybody else out there and get some lemon english 100 yeah basically yeah 
anything else to talk about with this fight? Because great match, great match all around. I can't I believe that Mammoth ended up beating Woodshocker and Hypershock. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that would yeah. probably be a rematch <laughs> then, because Mammoth has fought both these robots before and got Man. destroyed in both. I can't believe Glitch stopped working and they just subbed in Mammoth and it beat Witch Doctor and Hypershock. Yeah, I mean. And, and, and Endgame. Oh, wait. No, oops. oops. Can't believe Mammoth. <laughs> yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler. Yeah, no revealing spoilers, Blaze. No, no, no. It didn't be Endgame. It, no, it didn't be Endgame. Uh, they had the sub in uh, Tombstone for Perfect Phoenix, and Perfect Phoenix ended up beating Tantrum and Endgame, and Mammoth <laughs> and Perfect Phoenix fought in the final. I can't believe that like Mammoth dropped down from the rafters and then beat both Endgame and Ripoff in the first round. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> can't geez, how many, ro- geez, how many robots? How, every how robot. many robots that Mammoth beat as of now? And see you, Smurf. Or, Bye, uh, Smurf. Enjoy the, rest, enjoy the rest of your night. Um, it uh, it beat every robot. They they just pretend that they they just pretend that they lose. They they, they actually. Win every single play. Yeah, yeah. Battle, battle bots actually rigged. Like Mammoth has like yeah, three they, nuts. They... But... Yeah, see Mammoth, Mammoth. Yeah, see Mammoth was and, actually and supposed actually... to be in a sitcom, kind of like the My Mother the Carter sitcom, where this oh kid's this kid's father's soul gets transferred into this battle bot, and he, the battle bot just fights other robots for survival, and it. it goes to the round of 16 and somehow deserves to make quarterfinals, but... Bro, that fight, that fight was close. So. My mother, the car. It's a wild <laughs> uh, Yeah, that, that, that's interesting. And then I can't believe that and then actually, Perfect Phoenix actually made... Perfect Phoenix actually participated. But they ended up, and they actually ended up fighting Mammoth in the final this season, so... But Fair. they had to cut all that, and they reshot it yeah. because the footage was lost. I mean, I mean, I mean, no. I've al- I mean, I've always it's told, but I'm always told by builders that fights don't go exactly as you see, just because of all the editing stuff. Hopefully, you see. My no, no, they right no, there. they completely scrapped the first section. They completely scrapped the original. Like the entire season was filmed. They scrapped it because Mammoth won, and they didn't want Mammoth to win because it's rigged. So. And that they reshot it, and they forced Mammoth to lose three fights. They let Mammoth win the first fight because they didn't. They wanted to show. They wanted to give Mammoth fans like me hope that Mammoth would actually do something. Apparently, but no. And then they just killed Mammoth three times. I mean, Blaze, Blaze. They did do something. They eliminated Siv's original champion when we made our brackets oh, for the no, Battlebots no, 2020 no, season no. by beating oh my. Copperhead. It was so, Tantrum. Oh, yeah. It no, was no. Tantrum. The original champion from no. 2020. Yeah, he originally no. had Copperhead winning it. Then he went to Tantrum. At least he no. didn't at least he didn't switch it six times that season. And yeah, because he only Tantrum switched was once, always gonna win. So. Tantrum was always oh, gonna win. Here. Skill oh, issue. I, I'm trying to think something. Who did I have that season? Was it Witch Doctor or was it Endgame? Uh who did I had Sobley's win, I think. Yeah, I had, I had Black, I had, I had Black uh, Dragon winning it that year. I had, I believe, I had Tombstone, Whiplash, Witch Doctor, and Endgame in the semi semifinals. I did so. a great job of predicting. I think that bracket that year because I did have, I think, Rip out in the quarters. I yeah, think I had, I had Black Bro, Dragon and Valkyrie baby. on one side, and then I had Sawblaze and uh, who was the other one? Sawblaze and Hopper. No, I also, I also. Yeah. Yeah, so, perfect Phoenix and Sawblaze. Nope, I didn't have Perfect Phoenix and Sawblaze. I did have Perfect I, Phoenix I had beating Ed Gamer, but I like, didn't have Perfect Phoenix beating Rotator for that bracket. Man, hilarious. Perfect Phoenix versus Rotator would actually be pretty interesting. Anyway, let's get to Endgame and Tantrum then. You mean, I can't believe that Perfect Phoenix ended up beating both Endgame and Tantrum. Uh, well, yeah, I'm getting to this fight then. Uh, so, Endgame and Tantrum, a rematch from, um, uh, yeah, last season in the final four. 
So another Final Four showdown between. Wait NBA a minute! It, the, wait, are they destined and, to fight in the semis again? Yeah, they te- they they fought in the semis again, basically. So, so yeah, both these robots went for ground game. Wait a minute! Uh, and our wish doctor and Sawboys destined to fight in the fight again in the I tournament. Know. Well, shut up. I, let me let me talk about this. Is fight. anyone is this audio coming up or anyone else? <laughs> he was, was speaking I on my end. That's heard him. why I, I heard him. Nerd. I, could, I couldn't hear him. That's why. Mute him. Well, anyway, I'm getting back to talking about this light. Then I want to keep this one on on, on topic here. So, okay, so both oh, robots man. basically went for ground game uh, for this one. Uh, Tantrum had a good start winning the ground game in the last meeting, but that didn't end up happening this time exactly. We saw some pr- we saw some pretty interesting clashes for ground game because neither robot was really winning the ground game at first between the two. But then as soon as Endgame used a driving tactic and sliced up those wedgelets on Tantrum, it was pretty much all over for Tantrum, kind of. Uh, but... Uh, I shouldn't exactly say all over because Endgame was showing lots of signs of damage near the end of the fight. Seemed like they were struggling to drive during parts of it, at least. And sure enough, we learned from uh, following that the Endgame did have some speed controllers and stuff burn out on the internal end. But uh, yeah. uh, can I say something though? Yep, go ahead. Like real quick. Yes. Okay, so um, all I right, think... real quick is up. Before Endgame even got, like, any big hits, like, just from, like, pushing and, like, just, like, pushing and, like, trying to use their forks, Tantrum's, like, I think left or right fork got, like, bent up, and that was just from pushing. So, like, yeah. there's just a point where they just kind of were screwed in terms of ground game. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. I, 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 Endgame is Endgame. Yeah. Tantrum might be the most durable bot in the field. Like, they just kept taking hits and just kept coming in. Like, they are the biggest brick field in my opinion and just keep coming back just like unfazed yeah absolutely absolutely because yeah and tantrum's always been well known as a really durable robot ever since the big run they made last season and this definitely proves it just because endgame definitely endgame's definitely one of the biggest vertical spinners in the entire competition and got a lot of power in that thing and Tantrum just kept taking hit after hit from that thing, and pretty impressive that Tantrum managed to go the full three minutes with such a such a dangerous vertical spinner like Endgame. And yeah, well, I think Endgame definitely very easily won this judges' decision. Uh, hats off to Tantrum for how well they performed in this fight. I even prefer they, to keep my hat on, even though this ended up being their first loss of the entire se- of the entire competition from that year. So, but yeah. Yeah, still regardless, great fight from these two, even though a lot of it was one-sided. Endgame definitely took a lot of damage in this fight, and yeah, both robots that were going to be in the finals for the Golden Bolt took a lot of damage in this fight, and uh, great great stuff regardless, so. Uh, anything to talk, anything more to talk about this fight, or should we get to the next section? Uh, I have a hot Next take fight. to share. What you got, actually, oh, I no. still, I still would take Tantrum in a rematch. Like, I still like if Endgame and Tantrum fought next year in their first fight, I would still predict Tantrum to win. If I'm being honest, I already gave my prediction, my opinions of this fight in a chat. Okay, let's see. I'll check that video out after we record the podcast. But I imagine it's something entertaining. But yeah, I could definitely see Tantrum winning in a re- if they take on Endgame a third time. I'm without a doubt if they drive it right and everything, they could definitely pull it off. So yeah, yeah. So I don't think there's really much more to talk about. So let's go on to the next section. Okay, so I figured we'd bring up the awards from this upcoming season. So they gave out pieces of the pul- bits of the pulverizer to Rookie of the Year this time around. And basically where it was a draw between Glitch and Riptide, who both got pulverizers to take home. Most destructive went to Hypershock, best design went to Blip, and then Founders Award went to Sawblaze. Thought I'd let everybody share their opinions on that. Uh, Sawblaze shouldn't have won. I think Mad Catter should have won the Founders Award. Founders Award to Sawblaze. Yeah, that's 
terrible okay, mad, so ca- mad I, cat I, I, have, I, I have thoughts. I'm gonna let Pori go since I yeah, Pori's probably gonna have, Pori's probably gonna be a bit more respectable. Yeah. Okay. So that's true. Glitch, shut up, please. Wait. So glitch and <laughs> Riptide. Uh, that's that's a fair. That's fair. Rookie of the year. They deserve that. That's fine. I, I probably would have only given it to one of them, but I don't know. Either one is worthy of it. I think. Uh, most destructive hyper shock. No question. I predicted this when the gigabyte bounty happened. If they didn't win the competition, they were going to win most destructive. I was correct. I saw a lot of people in the group saying, like, oh, Cobalt should won it. But Cobalt, like, yeah, the Ghost Raptor fight was brutal, but like, Hyper Shock had, like, you know, what, like, seven destructive wins. So, yeah, they, they deserve it. That, that gigabyte thing is a pure eye candy. And they had a lot of other good moments. Like, Mad Catter was like, it was like a totaled car, dude. Like, it was crazy. Uh, best design blip. Yes and no. Um, is Flip arguably the best design this season? Maybe. But I think the fact that it seems reasonable won the giant nut. I probably wouldn't have given it to them on that merit just to kind of give someone else an opportunity to win the nut. I, I personally would have given it to Blade, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not really a big deal. Blip isn't undeserving or anything. Founder's Award for Sawblaze, maybe, but kind of no. Um, the only thing with that is like, Sawblaze is cool. It's a fun robot. And I'm sure that, and I mean, Jameson Go is active in the live scene, but he hasn't really done much, at least from my perspective. I don't go to the, you know, the events and stuff. So maybe I'm totally off the mark, but he, hasn't really been like you know a a pillar in the community if you will like how scorpios won it last year you know they're constantly like doing videos and trying to get yeah uh, combat out there helping students and stuff and uh i feel like that's something that would make more sense so i said for the founders award i would probably say like uh like Chuck Pitzer is definitely a big one. His sportsmanship is very incredible. And, uh, you know, his social media presence is very good. Social media presence, I feel, is a very uh, big thing. Um, Hypershock would be a shout, but they won. They did most destructive makes more sense for them. Uh, Mad Catter, definitely. I mean, you know, having getting community college kids in it. Um, I would also shout Team Malice. Malice, Malice would actually be would definitely I'd shout, be. I'd shout, I'd, I'd shout Witch Doctor as well. Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor definitely. I think Witch Doctor's won it before though, so I, I kind yeah, of. I, I, like I, no, I, no, I don't think they have. I don't no, think, think they have either, but I might be have. wrong about that. Uh, season three was have. Monsoon. Season four was um, who's season four? It was not. It was. It wasn't Witch Doctor, I know that. It wasn't Witch Doctor. Season 5 wasn't Witch Doctor. Did they have it for uh, season uh, 1 and 2? I, Witch, Doctor, Witch Doctor definitely would be would be on the list. Uh, I don't think that, Founders uh, Award went um, to Monsoon. I think that was Gigabyte, most destructive. Gigabyte would, Gigabyte no, would be a candidate if, if John yeah. Mladenic wasn't posting his weird libertarian memes on their social media page. <laughs> uh, but um, another shout would probably be um, Evan Arias of Pain Train. Um, oh, that's a good one. Would be a good shout because he's like he he definitely outside of battle lots he's bringing the robot combat to like poorer neighborhoods in New York, which is definitely a really cool thing. There's a lot of people who I would give it to. Sawblaze probably isn't in that conversation, but I I guess they saw something I didn't, and that's fine. Um, is what it is. All right, I'll go next. Uh, rookie of the year. Uh, Glitch and Riptide, I'd, I'd probably agree with um, giving it to Glitch, if I'm being honest. If Glitch didn't have that good of a run in the Golden Bolt tournament, or like the bounties, I guess, I'd probably say Riptide, but it, it's fair to give it to both of them. I'd probably agree with the case that it should be one of them, but I, I think it's fair. I'm glad they didn't give it to Blip, though, because in my opinion, Blip shouldn't even be in the running, so uh, L. Uh, most destructive hyper shock. I I I'd, I'd agree with it. The only two bots, the only three bots that are probably able to be debated on are Cobalt, Uppercut, and Rotator. But I think hyper shock was more destructive than those. Um, best design blip. Yeah, I, I'd say 
I'd agree to that. It, it it added new design that worked. The only the only other bot design that I think could be up there is switchback maybe, but other than that, I don't think there's an, a best design contender for the oh. of being clip. Founders Awards saw boys. I don't think it was that bad. I don't think it's screeching and dying inside bad, but like yeah. I would have preferred like six other bots if I'm not Okay, honest. so uh top ten bots that deserve this award over Sawblaze. We got Witch Doctor, yeah, uh, Malice, uh at Hijinx, if I'm being honest. Really? Oh, yeah, hijinks would be hijinks yeah. 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 It would be a shot. I'm not sure if it would be better than Sawblaze. They're definitely up there. I'd, I'd say I would say I would a... say I would say Jen, I would say Jen and Orion are more active in the community than Jameson. Slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mad Chatter as well, definitely. Um, uh, other boss that Tori mentioned. <laughs> Al Kindle in Blacksmith. No, not Al Kindle. Oh God. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, Al Kindle gets Al Kindle. If they ever make a if they ever make a giant bolt for a shit posting, yeah, Al Kindle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Al Kindle would win that one easily. Yeah, he'd, he'd, um, be, he'd be like Mariano Rivera getting a unanimous vote for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, other founder was award possibilities. Uh, I'd say seems reasonable. Robotics might have a shout. Uh, he already won a season. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Blip got best design, so I mean, them getting. Although I guess they wouldn't give him two awards. Yeah. And, and I guess. Um, but yeah, Witch Doctor probably should have gotten in, in my opinion. I don't I don't get the <sighs> I don't get the Sawblaze shout. Uh Malice definitely should have gotten it. They're active with their giveaways. Bunny's a fun ass person. I be, I kicked her team's ass three times in ARC. Fun as fuck. Um uh Hijinks. Uh, I don't pay attention to hijinks, but I'm sure they're. But I've heard their team is incredibly active in the BattleBot social media they universe. Are, yeah. So I definitely think hijinks could be up Kraken there. Kraken would be a shout too. Oh yeah, Kraken's definitely a shout. Overhaul. I think is another one. Sh- is a shout. I would. Yeah, I I, I agree with yeah, everything yeah. you said. Okay, so by the way, I have info on the Founders Award thing. So 2018, oh. it went to Monsoon. I was right. 2019, it what? went to Hydra. Hmm. I thought Hydra won best design. Oops. 2020, it went to Chomp. Quantum and then design. recent season, it was Sawblaze. So, so yeah, my wait, opinion what? on this what? then. Wait. Then, no, 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 no. Chomp no, won best won design. Last year. Yeah, Scorpio's Chomp won best design. Year. Yeah. yeah. Chomp, won, Chomp won best design. Oh, no. Uh, Hydra oh, yeah, did Scorpio's win Founders. Founders Award. So Wiki's wrong, at least. The Wiki's, the Wiki's wrong. The Bella's the Wiki is wrong. Well, well, guys, I have news. I actually, guys, I actually have news about the Wiki. So um, was browsing around the Wiki the other day, and someone actually commented on the uh, comment me and Smurf made on the um, on the ch- on the Jason Bardis thing, and we know who's made the pictures now. Oh, we we've been knowing who did that. Who yeah. you knew who? Oh, you knew who? Yeah. Send me their address. A bunch of times. Green can vouch for that. Yep. Uh, I don't think you. Yeah, I talked about. Oh, it. I, yeah, Val, Val, I yes, Falco yes. Four twenty or whatever. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting Falco. back like, to like this because we don't need to talk about that. Uh, so, yeah, gl- rookie of the year. I definitely feel like that could go either way between Glitch and Riptide because Riptide had a major run in the competition this year, and then Glitch and then. Riptide, Riptide was probably, probably in my opinion, would get the award for Dark Horse. Or if, yeah, if that would go to anybody. And then Glitch, 7-0 and before losing to Witch Doctor. Like, that's, that's really, that's really great for a first year robot. And then Destructive, hands down, that went to Hypershock easily. Hands down, agree with that. After, after all they did in the, especially in the Gigabyte bracket, after they literally plowed through Valkyrie, Mad Catter, and Gigabyte the way they did. Best design, I also agree with that one, with yeah. Blip getting that one. Uh, yeah, I, f- I felt Blip definitely get- would get that one with the in- with the amazing technology they they added to that. They brought to... With all the amazing tech they brought with that Blipper design this year. Founders Award... I originally was like on the edge about that one because, like, when I first heard about it, because, like, 
I did not expect Sawblaze to get that one because, like, I, yeah, because definitely I had a lot of robots in mind that Pori mentioned. The one that wasn't mentioned I also had in mind, and this is not out of bias either, like a lot of you are probably going to say. I also had Black Dragon Black on Dragon, the list. That's, uh, that's mm, fine. That's yeah, actually I, an interesting that's a, one. That's a, I had Black... that's a fair shout, if I'm being yeah. honest. But to be yeah, fair, fair, though, I, I do kind of agree with that one, because, like, because so, like with Sawblaze, I know Jameson has been active in so many competitions outside of it, and and also like like this, I don't like I don't think this is out of fanship or anything like that. But you could tell like even from the audience, like Jameson is Jameson is a very is a big inspiration, and like a lot of his MIT stuff because like he's been at he's yeah because like because like they're always talking about like the reason why Sawblaze and Uppercut ended up meeting in the battle box is the history that Alex Tori has with Jameson Go. Oh, and that crew like like Jameson is definitely an inspiration no doubt to the Battlebots community, I feel. And like while I definitely didn't think that Sawblaze would Sawblaze would be one to consider for the Founders Award, like I think I I think I I can agree with that one. Uh, See, it's not bad. I, the problem I have with it is it's a hammer saw. Well, I don't care. Well, I don't Bruh. care about that because I like hammer saws. So, uh, yeah, I don't care what you say, Siv. I like hammer saws regardless. They're awesome. So, who likes hammer saws in this world? I Maybe. love hammer saws. Yeah. How dare hammer you, are bro? Hammer no saws sh- are more entertaining than your face. <laughs> good, good point. Good point. So true. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the final for the Golden Bolt. Yo, ow. Okay, Witch Doctor so Endgame much. rematch. So, but Siv doesn't have any room to talk because Siv was saying that that in a rematch, Witch Doctor would win that. And uh, I, and I just, happened, bro. Endgame, Endgame clap happened. Witch Doctor's cheeks. Let's yeah. go. Pretty much this fight pretty much happened how I how I was expecting it to because I was expecting Witch Doctor would have a good moment or two here and there to start the fight, which they did because they ripped off one of Endgame's wedgelets. But then I thought that Endgame, as soon as they got that first big hit, they were going to dominate this fight. And that's about what happened. We saw Witch Doctor get a serious amount of air time after Endgame took them into the rails the first time. And we saw them rip off an entire side armor, part of the top armor, even part of the part of the rib cage up top which is pretty incredible stuff uh, but regardless though i'm giving both teams so much credit just for the fact that they're able to get ready for this fight because like as i've mentioned already a few times like three fights at least which doctor this was apparently their fourth fight of the entire day hey okay, so uh like Damn. and apparently Witch Doctor was I'm hearing Witch Doctor was getting a lot of spare parts from some of the other teams and which credit to the Battlebots community for that for helping Witch Doctor get ready for this fight. And Endgame definitely had a lot of damage too after their last fight with Tantrum. So like getting ready for this fight was difficult task without a doubt. And uh and I give both teams so much credit for that, and the fact that we got such an entertaining fight out of it, I feel. So, so yeah, y'all want to talk about this fight, then? This is probably the most destroyed Witch Doctor we've ever seen. Like, I can't think of a fight where they got as brutally massacred as they did in this endgame fight. Uh, maybe the Yeti fight from 2018? Or, like, I, the I would say maybe oh. the Minotaur fight as well, because they, defi- they did get massacred in the Minotaur fight. Yeah. yeah. But this one was absolutely brutal. Like, I, I don't, I'm not sure how. Tr- I, I feel like I could. I'm, I'm gonna stop myself there. Um, like, like after I saw them being counted out, I looked at the bot. That was so brutal. Like, like I, they're like holes in the robot. The whole place is just being torn off. It was crazy how destroyed they were. If I'm being honest. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey, like, plus can't include the like I think Witch Doctor was, like, on this exact frame for this entire thing. Like, I don't know that for sure. It's not confirmed to me, but, like, I know Witch Doctor went with just a single single tooth vertical spinner just because of, like, frame damage they took against Tantrum that prevented them from switching blades. Makes me think that they were using the entire frame for this, for this entire bracket, but I don't know that answer for sure. But, 
wouldn't surprise me. Still, though, your were, point think, still stands. I think they that, lost. Like, this was definitely one of the most the destroyed. This was like one most destroyed or very close to it. The witch doctor has been, and and it was a great way for witch doctor uh, to go. Can I say out. something? Yeah, I think that they had they brought they brought a spare frame, but I think this is the spare frame because they had because in the end game the first end game fight, witch doctor's frame they broke, I believe, or something like that. Oh, it yeah. couldn't be repaired to the, the Look, there's no to doubt they frame. there's no doubt they almost certainly had a spare frame like i, w- I don't know that for sure either, no, they, i don't know they, i don't know no, they for sure had a spare, but... they they had a spare fr- at least one spare frame this it, oh, they're definitely. using the spare frame they br- end game damaged the original frame so much that they had to switch to a spare frame oh yeah regard regardless though Oh, uh, so I yeah. uh, can't believe that Mammoth ended up beating both Witch Doctor and Endgame and ended up claiming the Golden Bolt. Well, so yeah. poor you two want to talk about this fight then? God help us all. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just leave? <laughs> I, I heard a door slam. <laughs> so, so, um, I just saw Boy. my stepdad's hair completely shaved. No, that, that wasn't Bory, I don't think. It that was wasn't my me. Door. That was my door. That was your door? Yeah, um, so so what happened yeah. was uh, Green decided that he would pay off the endgame team so what? he could make fun of me. Um, That's true. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I would definitely he, do that. He got upset because I'm better at him in Minesweeper. Um, you probably, you the probably reason... would be better than me at it because I, yeah, cause I've only played that game like once or twice and... Bruh. I sucked at it, so you probably would be better than me at Minesweeper. Man, can't believe Minesweeper. Can't believe we go from BattleBots to Minesweeper. But you were saying, Siv? Uh, but yeah, Endgame team got paid off, so I'm uh, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. Damn, you thinking I'd pay? I'd pay a team to. I, you think I would betray Witch Doctor like that? Yes. Yeah. Of course you would. Why is it just because the the other the other profile pick I've got on my YouTube channel isn't a, a Witch Doctor thing? Yeah. It's Rivot. Wait, wait. Yeah, it is Rivot. In seconds. Yeah the the ex the extra picture on my YouTube profile is a Rivot thing. So I had, Rib- I, had Ribot, I had Ribot send me that picture of that frame, of that frame right there, that artwork, because it's so beautiful. I'm sleeping with the Deadlift Wedgelet tonight. Well, like, what? what do you mean by sleeping? <laughs> it's like um... I mean, I mean, Pori probably sleeps with that lifter every night. So I mean, like, what what do you think I mean? I mean, like, physically sleep with it. I don't okay. mean <laughs> anything sexually. <laughs> I, I, I just I've had to be sure. I just had to be sure. I've never meant that sexually. Brain, I don't can we go on to why the next topic, just... please? Uh, that, like, that's probably it for this one. This one. Oh, ladies, you're being so, a little too uh, defensive here. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, great, great. Well, poor. You want to talk about this fight? <laughs> wow. Then interrupt me all episode. Uh, hi, hi, poor. Okay. Um. Well, you My friend shut up. Neil sent me talk. this the other day. Thank you. I just want to know: Is this COVID related? And if so, what do we do about it? What? Wow. What? No, but this fight was—it uh, was all right. I I did, this whole episode what the was all right. I, well, the, the first the fight ranged from meh to all right. Um, I think my expectations were set too high because everyone was acting like this bracket was going to be like incredible banger fights, but in reality it was just like mid-tier fights that were all with the most predictable outcomes possible. So it's like, eh. eh, 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 eh. Yeah. Ow. Mammoth win. So true. So true. Now you gotta draw well, a golden bolt, Blaze. Well, at least oh, Mammoth boy. won, it'd be something like interesting. So, Alright, I'm drawing a Yeah, I would probably also right agree now. with Corey. Like, like, I, like, even without with, with what Pori was talking about there, because I personally hadn't heard a lot of that stuff. Like, definitely this was a little underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, and by the way, Blaze oh, man, that looks more like a key. 
not a. I not I'm a terrible at I, dude. Well, I boys, do, you, I do that you didn't like do keys anyway, so it's time to vote you off the vote you God off damn the it. ship. So <laughs> I am keys. Uh, but yeah, I've kind of like back to that topic. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, I, I, like I was expecting to see like so many more banger fights, similar to what we were seeing in the championship episode. If the Reddit community went to ruin some of it, but uh. All right, I'm gonna draw an actual bolt here. But anyway, anyway, oh, God, uh, that, that looks basically, worse. Th- basically, like the fight quality, I would say was good because, oh, like, God, I I saw a lot. I was like, I enjoyed so many of the fights we got we we saw in this one, but it they they weren't as good as I was expecting to see at least. But I don't blame the builders at all or anything like that because, like, there were there were good fights regardless, and it was a pretty good show oh, to me. So, but. Yeah. Anyway, anything Wait, else about the, anything quick. else involving this bracket or any of the fights we saw? I have to draw mammoth. Um, I have to draw mammoth. I think this witch doctor. I think this fight was just kind of sad because, like, I love witch doctor. It's been in the game for six seasons now. Yep, as do I. Been, and like the remars, oh, competed seasons. in the brackets, bounties, seventh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and like the side events, but like they just. Ah, it's so sad that they couldn't pull off this such big win. They were runner up twice this year. But that is that sucks. Like I like going to next season, which is the bot I hope wins. Even though I'd love to see a control bot just take the nut. I think which doctor is gonna be the bot I'm gonna be rooting for come next year. (laughs) Mammoth's gonna win the nut. What are you talking about? Mammoth will win the nut, but I'm gonna be rooting for which doctor. Yeah. Mammoth's gonna win the nod. Yeah, it's kind of crazy it. how like oh. th- this is the third time in two seasons. Well, Mammoth's gonna win the three seasons that Witch Doctor has been the runner-up, and definitely the target on their back is gonna be big for next season. And assuming we see, we're gonna see Witch Doctor there, which I predict we will. But but you never you never know. I mean, if we don't, at least we have that Witch Doctor win. There, I, the I, Witch Doctor I, dub in Remars 2019. Yep, definitely. No doubt about that, and lots of artwork going on here. Howie sure. Mandel. Oh no, mm, I don't like. I don't like hearing the name Howie Mandel anymore. Brings back nightmares. Well, anyway, so I think that'll probably. Cl- I think that'll probably. Wait, no, I have. Wait, I have to. I have to write something real quick. Well, draw it out as I close this out. So, uh, yeah, that'll cl- that'll close it out for this podcast. Anyway, thanks for watching this. We do have a couple more podcasts coming prior to the next season of BattleBots. As for sure, we plan to do a final power rankings podcast video, basically where you're going to get to see power rankings from all of us. Basically, we'll rank every robot in the competition based off of both the main competition and BattleBots champions. And so a lot of fun will be coming there. And then whenever BattleBots ends up releasing the Remars stuff, uh, we will... uh, We'll do a review of those, and it should be a fun time. There'll probably be more stuff, too, but I don't know for sure. Those are the only two things I know for sure will be happening Whoa. prior to whenever the next season of BattleBots comes out. But, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, be sure to check out everyone's channels, which will be linked below, as well as Witch Doctor's channel. <laughs> I won't forget it, please. So, uh, uh, yeah. Subscribe to Mammoth. Subscribe to the Mammoth YouTube channel. I mean, yeah, there is a Mammoth YouTube channel out there. So, wow. Uh, yeah. Subscribe anyway, or I'll eat your soul. Anyway, thanks for watching <laughs> this, and I will hopefully see you for the next podcast. <laughs>